coming up on Movie Buff, we've got a film that will make you think twice about going on holiday. Uh, we go all teen with coming of age movie Band Slam. And find out what we reckon will be the surprise sensation of the summer. Now, your honeymoon is meant to be one of the most amazing holidays you'll ever have, right? But what if it's not? American model and actress Mila Jovovich stars in Perfect Getaway. Don't be fooled by the title, though, as Sydney and Cliff's break is anything but. They head to Hawaii for an adventurous trip, but they soon discover that another couple have been murdered, and who knows, maybe they'll be next. They're killers on the loose. They meet, like, these groups of, of, of people that could potentially you know, look like the killers that they've read about, like on their like cell phones, on their Google things, and they're getting really nervous because they, these people seem kind of crazy, like not exactly how they introduce themselves as. And, and that's the thing, all the characters are multidimensional, so they're one thing, but then once you get to know them, there's other darker sides and stuff. So as the thriller unfolds, you'll no doubt be busy trying to work out who done it. Don't feel bad though if you get it wrong, as when she was reading the script for the first time, so did Mila. This was one of those scripts that once I started it, it was like boom, 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 and I was done in an hour because I was so interested and it really had me on my toes because I didn't really know where things were coming from or where they were going and, and of course halfway through I was like, oh, I know who did it. And then a few pages later, I was like, oh, wait, but maybe it's this person. And like, you know, and then finally, when I realized what it was, I was like, oh my God, this is so insane. Well, the only way to find out is get yourself to a cinema, sit on the edge of your seats, and get ready to bite your nails as Perfect Getaway unfolds. If you saw high school musicals one, two, and three, and know all the songs to Camp Rock, then all aboard, Zac Efron lovers, as we're about to set sail on a new tween adventure. OK, so Band Slam has some of the same elements. Catchy tunes, good-looking stars. But how many of those others were cool enough to get David Bowie's seal of approval? I think that it's older and more mature than, you know, Camp Rock or or, you know, High School Musical. That's actress and musician Ali Michalka, who plays Charlotte. Well, I think it also has real music in it that is from classic artists like David Bowie, like Cheap Trick. And you'll know this face. HSM's Vanessa Hudgens comes along for the ride as Tortured Soul. Don't tell me you're the world famous Santa Fe the Silent. For that alone, you are my hero. In honor of Vanessa's character, I have renamed myself. I love it. I am. Allison, the eight, the eight is silent. silent. That is so good, and I like the Allison eight. It, it just works. I would be Allison the seven is silent. Allison with a Y there. With the Y. You see, great minds think alike. Genius. The story follows geeky new boy Will, who is roped into managing a group taking part in an annual rock off. The winner gets actual record deal. But that's not all. Now talk to me about the kissing. There's some kissing for your character and for Vanessa's. Did you share any tips or maybe breath mints? Um, yeah, definitely lots of breath mints. Um, Galen had peanut butter before my scene. I don't know what the deal was that. Uh, but yeah, um, it was really sweet and charming and a great moment for our characters. You know, it wasn't uncomfortable at all. We had known each other for a couple months and it was kind of like, finally, we get to film this great scene. The end result is the recipe for something with the spirit of those Disney flicks, with a teaspoon of Juno and even a dash of something like Pretty in Pink from the 80s. OK, so it's not exactly original. We've seen 101 films about alienated teenagers. But the script is witty, Lisa Kudrow's casting is genius, and newcomer Galen Connell is clueless and adorable in a Michael Cera sort of way. And if that doesn't raise a smile, chances are the foot-tapping soundtrack might just do it. This is a world unfamiliar to most of us, but it's the reality millions of South American immigrants face every day, trying to make it across the Mexican border into the United States in a desperate attempt to find a better life. 
Sinombra, without a name, has become one of the most talked about films of the year. It's the debut feature of American director Carrie Fukunaga. The film follows the life of Honduran teenager Sira, who's trying to get to New Jersey to live with her father's family. On her journey, she meets Casper, a member of a notorious gang. He's on the run after killing his gang's leader. Carrie Fukunaga spent more than two years researching the film by riding on the roofs of trains and speaking to immigrants, police and gang members. Uno. Dos. Authenticity was definitely one of the most important things. I think that uh, to do a film like that and, and not, without doing the proper research, without um, paying attention to the details of the differences in language and the nuances of the accents and the details of the environment that they're traveling through and how the gang works and the rules of the gang, to ignore those things would have been, um, I think, a waste of potential. Filming proved quite a challenge as most scenes had to be shot on top of moving trains, a truly balancing act for the crew. I was worried that one of the 100 extras that were on there would stand up and try to impress some girl he was meeting on set and fall off the train and lose a limb or worse. Um, it was much different than being on the train you know, and traveling without protection in southern Mexico where you know, you, there is no help if something happens. But uh, after about five days of shooting, everyone on the crew was pretty comfortable shooting on top of a train. Um, it uh, definitely helps the acting. <laughs> Sinombra takes the viewer on a journey of extremes, from South America's beautiful landscapes to shocking violence, love, hope and despair. It depicts a reality that some people would rather ignore, but the film is just too good to look away.